Must be nice to be able to afford to travel, huh? Oh, you, you don't really want to talk to me. I'm just a nobody from the crates. Besides, I'm not really good at talking to tourists about New Homestead. If you're really interested in our history, talk to Maurice. He's a lot better at that than I am. You do? I mean, sure. I don't know what I can tell you, but if you want to talk, I don't have anything else I need to do right now. It's not as bad as you'd think. I like talking to off-worlders, especially people my age. It gives me ideas for what I want to do when I'm done with school. Because, honestly, I'm not sure I want to stay here. It'll always be my home, but as soon as I can afford to, I'd love to explore my options. Well, I'm trying to finish up my undergrad schooling, actually. I want to be a physicist like my grandmother. Then, who knows what. But I also do some odd jobs here or there for money. Sometimes I help Jay out at his shop, and he gives me stuff in return. Sometimes I help Anya clean up at the brown horse when she's short-staffed, that sort of thing. The crates are what we call the living quarters for the poor people, like me. They're made from old shipping containers. We have to make do with the space we have here. They're comfortable enough, I guess. And no one on Titan is well off to begin with, but you can tell that people look down on us, especially some of the tourists. Okay, well, no, not the studies specifically. Like, I get good grades when I'm able to apply myself. But I'm poor. I just don't have the kind of money to be a full-time student and support myself. Even living in the cheap-ass crates. I keep having to take odd jobs just to put food on my plate. And when I do, my grades suffer. I just feel like I'll be stuck in a rut forever. What? Really? I, I don't know what to say. This is beyond kind of you. I mean, I don't even know you, but... Wow. Thank you. I'm pleased that you realize the importance of a decent education. <laughs>